Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a great day. And you know what? We talk a ton about quarterbacks. I made videos where I'm trying to figure out who the best quarterback in a certain recruiting class is. I'm trying to figure out who the best quarterback in their state is. I'm just trying to figure out who the best quarterback in the nation really is. But you know what? I haven't done a lot of videos on the person that is responsible for bringing the quarterback down. And so I thought I'd just do that for you guys. So today I thought I'd take a look at the number one defensive end in the class of 2018. So today I'm gonna to be watching Micah Parsons highlight tape. But yeah, no, I mean, I'm never gonna get tired of watching quarterbacks just because like, while I played wide receiver and I thoroughly enjoy that position, I don't know what it is about quarterback. I guess it's just like always having the ball or just being like the general on the field that has always intrigued me. But when you have some top notch defensive ends, I mean, they just cause havoc in the backfield. And normally the number one defensive end in the country normally just destroys whatever high school lineman's in front of them. So that just kind of makes it even better. Right now this dude has a ton of scholarship offers, but right now the school that seems to be kind of in the lead is Penn State. But I mean, with recruiting you never know just because someone could swoop in. But I mean, if you were to go to Penn State, he'd already be adding to such a good Penn State team. But they do need help because next year when Saquon Barkley leaves, I mean, it'll be up in the air. So I want to see how good this dude really is. So let's just get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, so let's see. I just want to see this dude just get after high school quarterbacks. So let's go. So this dude also plays running back. So he's he's a running back D end. So this, this should be interesting. He's like 6'3", 235. Oh my God, he's just running over everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, he's, there's no way he's just running over people like this. Oh, get that, get to the QB. Bang, got you boy. All right, let's see it. I mean, shoot, he might have been able to go. He might. This kid could be a five-star running back too. I mean, lord. I mean, he runs a four-six six forty. So I mean, that's not slow. I mean, it's not the fastest either. But I mean, he could be a power back. I mean, look at him. He just runs through everyone. Oh, yo, this this dude is nice. Get to him. Grab onto that jersey. He just bull rushes through all of them. He, he's he's definitely a Von Miller type rusher where he's like definitely just more speed than size. Even though he has the size to play the end. Nice rip and <laughs> the quarterback couldn't even do anything. He was just like, help, help me. Get off of me. Get off me. You don't want to tackle me. You don't want to tackle me. Get off me. Boom. Touchdown. So, okay. So like at these high schools, like if, if you're not the De La Salle, modern day, St. John Bosco, uh, DeSoto, you guys get what I'm saying? Like the top, top schools and you get one of these like five star recruits. What do you do when they leave? Like, for example, I, I, obviously, I don't know how good this high school is. They could be extremely good. But like, say, say this was just like a, an average high school team. Like every single year they go like five and five or something like that. And then they get this kid who is just a beast on both sides of the field. What do you do when they graduate? Like, do you just hope that they have a younger brother or something? Like, that's just crazy. This dude is nice. Like for real. This, this dude, this dude's nice. Get off me, get off me. Bruh, he is just bull rushing all of these people. Get off me. Way to set the edge. There you go. I remember like I never played DN, but if there was one thing I would always remember my coach saying was 
set the edge, set the edge. Like, he would always get on the DMs for never setting the edge. So now I know what to look for. <laughs> Bruh, just blowing up the play in the backfield. Okay, cameraman, put it, put it on a tripod. It's this, this thing called a tripod. That's what you put cameras on so you don't get footage like this, you know? You, you, you feel me, fam? You, you, you feel me? Cut up. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. He's just dragging kids into the end zone. Let's go. Get off me. Get off. There's no way he scores from this. There's five guys on him. Five! And he still scored! I mean, I don't blame him for not wanting to tackle this kid, because I mean like You take you take my height but then add like another twenty pounds on me, like I wouldn't want to tackle myself either, but my lord, like this kid is ridiculous. Get off me. Bro, he is just, he's acting like none of these tackles even matter. Like, they're just like, oh, yeah, we're just, you're just in my way to the end zone. Sit down, little boy. Oh, my Lord, just dragging kids. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> he just trucked that kid. He's like, hey, if you're going to run me out of bounds, I'm going to make sure that you feel me first. Again, just put a camera on. I mean, just put it on a tripod. Like, it's not that hard. I mean, I'll, I will literally fly out to everyone's high school game and just film for them just because, like, no one knows how to film high school games correctly. <laughs> he got such a good jump off the ball, oh my lord. Bruh, he's just eating these hits like it's nothing. Let's go. Get off me. Hit him with the hit him with the saucy spin move. The saucy spin move. All right. So you guys obviously saw it. Like that dude was just getting to everyone on the field, and it's crazy too because he's so like multi-dimensional. I mean, like he was able to play running back and defensive end. I mean, like obviously in high school, it's not like the most impressive thing when someone goes like both sides of the football, but I mean, to do that as a D end and playing running back as well, the last person I saw do that at like that, like the five-star level was Robert Kim Dietschy, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, obviously there's probably other D ends that I missed, but the last time I saw a guy who was that athletic that they could play defensive end as well as be the team's starting running back, was Robert Kimdichie, who, I mean, he made it to the pros, so I mean, it, maybe this dude follows in his steps. All right, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 100? Actually, scratch that. Let's get this video to 200 likes, because I mean, you guys you guys hit 100 likes in the first like hour, so I mean, like, I might as well try and challenge you guys just a little bit, so today let's hit 200 likes, because that lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see, because that's how I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help this channel grow. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey, hey, yeah. All right, but with that all being said, hope that you guys all have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.